this is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Oh, look how cute. Today I have a post review for you. This is one of the first paintings I ordered from AliExpress when I started doing this craft. It's Baby Groot. It's a 40 by 40 centimeter full square painting. It cost me $11.79. Took me just a little over three months to complete it. However, I did not work on it on a daily basis. There would be weeks that went by that I didn't even touch it. And that was because I was working on other paintings, working on my Loki and doing some other projects in between. So I am proud to say I finally have him done. I'm excited to show him to you and tell you what I thought about this painting. I have to tell you up front, you know, I really don't have a lot of gripes about this. Um, I'm very pleased with this company. And what's surprising is when I go onto their store on AliExpress, they don't have a whole lot of feedback or followers, but I have to say it was really nice and fun to work on. I was very pleased with it. So this painting actually had 33 colors and here's the key. I had plenty of diamonds. I didn't run out of any, and even the trash wasn't that bad. Um, here's the tray of trash. Now keep in mind, this also has the Mad Hatter trash in it as well. Um, so if you can tell, you can see a lot of cavities in a, in a couple of the green. And then some right here, like this white one was concaved a little bit. This brown one right here, right here. Um, but honestly, I think a majority of the ones that had the cavities came from the Mad Hatter. I forgot to empty the tray before I did Groot, so kind of have a mixture of both. But even still, that's still not a lot of trash considering I would say half of it's the Mad Hatter. I'm starting to find a lot of paintings nowadays. The drills are awful and I don't even like to work on them anymore. All right. So here we go. And there he is, the final product. The canvas was very clear, very easy to read. Even the confetti right here and here wasn't that bad there it was a little bit tricky however because there was l's t's and i's all in the same area so i had to deal with the 819 which was a t i had the 3756 which was an l and then 3865 which was the i they were all together in the same area so that was a little bit tricky um, in order for me to make sure I got all the L's correct, I turned it upside down so I could see the line on the L. So I turned it upside down to work on it. So I could see that line from the L. And that made it easier for me. And then I flipped it back over to do my T. And then the I was what was ever left over. So very clear canvas. The drills were nice. No complaints there. There was no rippling, no rivers nothing um here's a close-up if you do put on top of a light table there is a little bit of gaps you can see a little bit of gapping right there a little bit right there you know a little bit in his on his head oh it looks like there's a cavity or something this is the glare. right there oh maybe it's just the glare it's deceiving so as you can see it's it's sparkly I really like the square drills I really do um, I have quite a few paintings that are going to be round, and I've only done the diamond dot round, and I've only worked on two of them. After I work on a square one and go back to a round, it's really tricky for me. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see how well I do with the round, but I'm sure once I get a hang of it, it'll go fine. Um, one thing about this 
is here is the photo. The canvas looks just like the photo, but the thumbnail looks completely different. It's like all green. Groot's more green. And the picture, he's not green. He's brown. There's just a little bit of green right here. But I mean, he's mostly black and brown. So the thumbnail was a little bit off, which I'm glad because this is much better than the thumbnail. But the thumbnail on the inventory sheet looks good. So all in all, I would give this honestly a five star, a rating of five star because the canvas was in excellent shape. The drill field was so clear. It was easy to place the diamonds on. All the diamonds fit, they're not popping off. I've rubbed my hand over it several times, nothing. I ran the roller over it, no more popping. So this is a really nice canvas. And I'm actually gonna order from that store again and see if this was just a miracle or if all their canvases are like that. If that's the case, I'm gonna be pretty excited because I have to admit, I'm not happy with a lot of the paintings I've been getting and it's kind of turned me off a little bit from the craft. And so I'm not just, I'm not as gung-ho as I used to be. And that's why you haven't seen me do very many videos because I haven't bought any for a while. I've been concentrating on the ones I already have. Plus I went on vacation, then I had some dental work done. And so I just kind of been off the grid for a while. But I'm happy to say I'm back and I do have a couple videos I'm in the process of making to show you. But I was really excited to do this one because we all love to see the finished product as well as all the unboxings. Um, I never did do an unboxing on this because I didn't start doing my YouTube channel until later on. Um, but I had no complaints at that time either. Everything was there. Plenty of drills left over. Very happy with this. I think he turned out really cute and I'm excited to get him framed. The one thing I have noticed though, with these 40 by 40s, they're harder to frame. I don't know if I'm gonna purchase this size anymore. I think I have one or two that are 40 by 40 left in my stock, but frames are expensive. So I've gotta either figure out how to do it less expensive or just quit buying the 40 by 40s altogether. But anyway, there you have it. Again, took me three months to complete. Kind of embarrassed about that. Started it on July 20th, completed it on October 23rd. All the inventory was there. The drills were in great shape. Canvas was spectacular. I love how it turned out. Now, I don't have the link to this picture because when I went on to download the thumbnail to put on my page, this painting is no longer available for purchase. The store is still there and there's other paintings on the store, but this particular painting is no longer available to order. So I'm glad I got him because he's really cute and I'm happy to have him. So anyway, I have missed you all. Sorry I've been MIA. I was hoping to do a vlog while I was on vacation, but I took my cell phone. My cell phone is in horrible shape. You can't hear a word I'm saying. So I was pretty disappointed that that didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but I did have a nice time on vacation. My daughter turned 16. We had a lot of fun. So I'm glad to be home and I'm loving this time of year and I'm being lazy and watching a lot of spookadoos and enjoying this time because I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. Um, but now that I'm back into the swing of things, my mouth is feeling better, I'm back from vacation, I'm getting ready to diamond paint a little bit more and so yeah. So here we are. I do have a couple more paintings in progress right now. So um, look forward to seeing those and I do have a couple unboxings I'll show at a later time. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.